What y'all said, big man? That's your boy Dog from EBF Academy by English Black Friday. Today, we're gonna talk about the movie Shutters because the shutters are back. All right, so before we get started with this video, I want you guys to already like it. I mean, first things first, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and the third thing, there is a bell down below. All you have to do is to click on it so you receive the notifications. Today's reaction is going to be lit. It's going to be amazing. You know why? Because a uh, friend of mine, this one will be dedicated to my brother, Gabriel Inacio, my brother from Sao Paulo. I know he loves Jamaican culture, Jamaican English, Jamaican Patois. So that's why this video is for you, my brother. You're going to love it. You guys out there, you girls out there. You ain't never seen this before. The movie in Portuguese is called Conexão Jamaica. Well, the movie Conexão Jamaica is about, you know, two gangsters from Jamaica, but they move to Miami. And then there are gangsters out there, but then they go back to Kingston, Jamaica. I don't know if you know, but Kingston is the capital of Jamaica. And when they go back... You know, they're gangsters. They sell drugs and they do all this illegal stuff. They're criminals. But then in Jamaica, there are many drug dealers too. And one of those big drug dealers, he is having dinner or lunch or snack at this restaurant right now. And that's when this conversation starts. Get ready for it. Let's go. Look who the fuck is back. Oh, we start for that. This is what Jamaican Patois looks like. Like, look who the fuck is back, which is look who the fuck is back. When I say look who the fuck, this the fuck is only to emphasize. It's just like, look who's back. Look who's back. Look who the fuck is back. King of Miami, at least him once was. <laughs> look at that. It says the king of Miami or the king of Miami. At least him once was. I mean, at least he was the king of Miami back in the days, but is he still the king of Miami? And then they're making fun, you see, uh, everybody's laughing. Ah, what said, big man? Look at the question right there. What y'all said, big man? What y'all said? What y'all said means what's up in Jamaican Patois. What y'all said, big man? It's like, what's up, big man? What? Oh, look at that. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff right there. Oh, you see the guy The guy here, man. Just put them on a wall right there. And they call him Pussio. Pussio is a, a very offensive word in Jamaican Patois. It's just like you call a guy a bitch in American English. You say, you a bitch. And then in Jamaican Patois, you want to say Pussio. So Pussio is a very, very derogatory term in Jamaican English. So you don't want to call anybody a Pussio in Jamaica because this could happen to you. That's crazy, man. We have blood We have Oh, look at this. I mean, the question he asks is like, what blood clot deal is? It's like, what is the deal? What's the problem? What blood clot? Blood clot is a word that we use in Jamaican Patois, which means motherfucking or motherfucker. Like, what's the motherfucking business? What is the fucking business? In Jamaican Patois, I want to say, what blood clot deal is? What blood clot deal? Deal is the deal. What's the deal? What's the problem? What's the, what's the matter? And then he wants to know what's going on here. Let's see what he's going to say. Look at that. What, what the deal is. What blood clot deal is. I got a message for you, bitch. You see that? That dude right here, the older dude, just said that he was the king of Miami. So you can hear him speaking in black American English. I got a message for you, bitch. I got a message for you. And then he called him, bitch. So you see that the other guy used the word pussio, and now he's using the word bitch, which shows that he knows both lingo. 
He knows how to speak in Jamaican Patois. And he knows how to speak in American Black English too, which is crazy. By the way, just extra information here. This dude right there with the gun on his face, he is the son of Bob Marley. That's amazing, right? He's an actor right there. Let's see what the message is. Got a message for you, bitch. Got a message out for me. Got a message out for me. Got a message out for me. That means, oh, you have a message for me. Hey, time is over. Mana, mana. Mana, mana. Oh, and then it say, play time is over. The play time is like, you know, when you have a play time, it's like you're having fun. You are selling your stuff, your bad stuff. You know that stuff. You're selling it. The play time is over. Because now they're back, right? The king of Miami is back in Kingston, Jamaica. So now he's about to play the game. Ooh, man. Yeah, apparently, that's going to get crazy right now. Let's see. What kind of place you have? Play time is over. Mana, mana, bad man. What kind of... Look at this, it sounds like mana mana bad man. It sounds like that, but it's like man, you're a bad man. Bad man. Bad man is uh another way for you to call somebody like uh you know a thug or somebody that's involved in crime and you want to call him a big man, like a big dude, a strong dude, or somebody that's bad. So you want to say, and you're a bad man in Jamaican accent. So you want to say, you change that vowel sound, like in American English, you say bad and man, but in Jamaican Patois, you want to say bad and man. So you say, what am I a bad man? You are a bad man. So that's a, that's a different way to say the same thing. Check it out. Yeah. Moving on. Play time is over. Man, I'm a bad man. What kind of play time to your blood clot will tell you? Eh? So what kind of blood clot? And then he says something that I personally didn't understand. I didn't know what he was saying here. Do you understand it? If you do, write down in the comment because you're going to help me help you. You know what I'm talking about? But look at this. I'm going to come back because he said blood clot once again. Check it out. Bad man. Look I'm going to play time to your blood clot right time. Eh? Oh, apparently he said, what kind of blood clot you're bringing about? But I'm not sure if it said that. You guys help me out on this one, all right? Let's move on. Yeah, Gretchen, hear it. Oh, apparently he understands that playtime is over. So what you want from me? Oh, so they say, so what you want from me? So what you want from me means what do you want from me? So, so what you want from me? Peace out of it. And then look at this. This dude that was speaking in black American English, now he's speaking in Jamaican Patois, say a piece of everything. A piece of everything means a piece of everything. A piece of everything. And then he continues on. Everything. Everything. Is it everything? And look at this. Man, this is what I love about learning languages. Look at that. You know, Jamaican Patois is not my point. You know, Jamaican Patois is something that I studied in the past, but I haven't actually dedicated my life to it. You know what I mean? Like I've done for black American English. But one thing that I love about this is that he used the Jamaican English and the American English because language is power. If you speak both Jamaican Patois and black American, you kind of show people that you dominate both sides. And that is really shown in the scene in here when he used the American version. Check it out once again. Peace of everything. Peace of everything. Everything. Every blood clotting. I mean, so if you sell a blood clot, you have cook half a man. So you see, now he's speaking in Jamaican Patois. He say, you sell a half a blood clot cocaine, half of mine. Half is mine. Just like half a mine. You see a blood clot. Excuse me, friends. Every blood clot thing. Every blood clot thing. Every when it says everything, a piece of everything. Every blood clot thing. That means every motherfucking thing, because it's in Jamaican English right now. And then he continues on with this. Everything. Every blood clot thing. I mean, if you sell a blood clot, you cook half a man. You sell a blood clot cocaine half a man. 
you sell a motherfucking cocaine half as mine. So if you sell four kilos, two kilos belong to me. You sell a blood clock, sell is sell. A blood clot of motherfucking Quarkian cocaine. Half of mine. Half is mine. So you see that the verb B is, is just removed in here. Half is mine, a half of mine. And then here, look at what else we have. Clarkin. I mean, so the cell of blood clark here, coke, half of mine. The cell of blood clark, Nicaragua, we post the world, same thing. You sell a blood clock, nickel bag of weed. Nickel bag, nickel bag is a bag of $5 or $5,000. And it's a nickel bag of weed, half of mine, but he doesn't say half of mine here. He says, see I'm thing. See I'm thing means if you sell nickel bag of weed, see I'm thing. See I'm, see I'm is same. All right, let's move on to finish the scene. See I'm thing. I escort your blood clot, escort me in a bit. I post the word. Eh? You see the column in a pussy up, pussy up. The word is extort, post the word, idiot boy. And he's a fucking drug dealer, what the fuck you tell me about extortion, eh? It's like, you are a drug dealer, what the fuck you talking about extortion, huh? It's like, you are a drug dealer. What the fuck you're talking about extortion? Like, I'm extorting you? You're a drug dealer, you extort people. Why the hell are you talking to me like that? That's how crazy this is. Eh? Say something. Oh, look at that. Say something. Something. Say something means say something. But, you know, that's Jamaican Patois, baby. Say something. Look at that. Eh? Say something. It's a blood clot something. Yeah. Yeah. Mean? yeah. Good. I tell you, fucking go and sit the fuck down before we start squeezing in this bitch. Look at that. That is American black English right there. I say, now tell your fucking goons to sit the fuck down before we start squeezing in this bitch. Goons, G-O-O-N-S, is the word for thugs, criminals, gang members. You know, people that are going to be around you to back you up. If anything happens, you know, there's people going to be right there to back you up. So it says, now tell all your fucking goons to sit down. All right. It said to sit the fuck down because he used the fuck to emphasize in a violent way. So now tell your fucking goons to sit the fuck down before I start squeezing in this bitch. Squeeze is the verb uh, squeeze, squish something like spit in me. So if you say squeezing for guns is because you have the trigger and if your finger is on the trigger and you squeeze it, if you're carrying an automatic gun, if you squeeze, you know, you shoot constantly. So say, hey, tell them to sit down before I start squeezing. Oh, and by the way, if you want to know about squeezing, you know, I have created a video about the rock start, the music rock start. It's going to be on the card up here. Check it out. Don't forget. Don't go anywhere. You know where to go after this. All right, let's go back to this just to finish. You don't want these innocent people getting hurt. You don't want innocent people getting hurt. You know that, man. This is an offensive sentence when it said that. Because it say, you don't want innocent people getting hurt. Which means that he is calling the other goons, the other gangsters, innocent people. And in the world of crime, if you are a criminal, you don't want to be called an innocent person. You know what I mean? So that's an offensive way, you know, to, to refer to the goons, to refer to the other gangsters. Hmm. So apparently people understand what's going on here. Bitch ass. Oh, look at that. That's a bad word. You call him bitch ass. So you call somebody bitch, but then you connect the word with the word ass, like you're behind, and then you want to say bitch ass. Bitch ass is a derogatory term to call another guy. To say you're bitch ass, like you're, you're a pussy -o, or you're just a bitch. Uh, that's disrespect on the street. Removing the ring. Mm. Yo, 
Spread the word. Nice expression right there. Hey yo, spread the word. Spread the word or spread the word means tell everybody. Spread the word. So you have the word and then you spread it. You tell everybody around. Hey yo, spread the word. Spread the word. Top shutters are buck. Ooh, that's gangster right there. I want to say, yo, spread the word. Top shutters are buck. Top shutters. Shutters is not what you're thinking. Shutters means gangsters in Jamaican English, in Jamaican Patois. So you say the shutters, that means the gangsters. And then it say top shutters are back. That means top gangsters are back. Remember he was the king of Miami? He was in Miami, now he's back in Kingston, Jamaica. That's why they say top shutters are back. Top shutters are back in full effect. Yo... In full effect. And look at the way. He didn't say in full effect with the kt at the end. He said in full effect. The t is not pronounced. Top shutters are back in full effect. Hey, yo, Dangles. He's a real soldier for a long time. You, know? you hear me? Oh, now he says something in Jamaican Patois very specifically. He called the guy Douglas. He said, hey, uh, we need soldiers. But he said that in Jamaican Patois, if you know what he said here, don't forget to write down in the comment, Gabriel, this is going to be your challenge, all right? So you write down the sentence here because I know you know it. All right, this one here. And then to finish that, look at what he said. Hey, yo, Douglas. He's a real soldier for a long time, you know? You hear me? You see, like, looking for a soldier for a long time, you hear me? I look for some soldier. I'm looking for some soldier. Soldier is another word for, like, a person that's going to be in your backup, a person that's going to be there to support you. If anything happens, this person's going to be right there to shoot other people. He's looking for some soldiers. So if you're interested, what do you have to do? I look for some soldier. Link up. And then he finished it off by saying link up. Link up is a slang term on the streets of the United States to say, call me up, get connected with me. So, wow, this is challenging. You see, I didn't understand 100%. I understand about 98% of the scene. I've watched this movie before, but then when I got the questions, like react to Shatas, I was like, why not? It's gonna be crazy. And that's one of my favorite scenes in this movie. Uh, you see that the English here is very, very advanced level because you have different language going on here. You have Black American English, you have Jamaican Patois going on. You have a lot of stuff going on here, learning pronunciation, vocabulary, culture, violent vocabulary, and bad words. And then we end up with the link up. So if you want to know more about EBF Academy, about English Black Friday, about the job that I've been doing for a long time, you know what to do, link up. And how do you connect with me? You go to my Instagram, you check my TikTok, you stay here on YouTube channel, and I'll see you around the corner. So this is it. This is your boy dog from EBF. I'll holler at your boy later. Bumbo Cloud. Holler.